What's up, guys? Right here. Um, this is going to be a bezier curve, like tutorial, teach you how to use a bezier curve and stuff. Um, we're going to use like the website, like the API for reference. So, I'm just pull that up real quick. Pretty much, a bezier curve is like a curve between three points. P zero is the first. P one is like the peak of the the curve. And P2 is the end point, right? Now you could do this in two ways. Um, you could write it in code form, which is what this you know, calls it, which uses lerp, and it achieves the same thing as like trying to do a bezier, or you can just use the bezier um, equation. Whichever one will work, I'll use both in this video, so you'll understand how both works. If you want more in depth on what this actually does, you could just read this on the website. But I don't really need to explain that. Um, yeah. So just little start this. I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make three sort of parts. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna make three parts. I'll just go like that. Make the first part like green. Second part like a dark blue. Third part like a red, right? Let me just move this out the way. Then I'm gonna name them accordingly. So we're just gonna call this point A. Uh, point B. And point C. All right, so now we need to make like a script. I'm just do like a server script, and we're gonna use the first function, which is a pair of these two. I also have them here just in case, but yeah. And I'll pretty much explain what these two, like both do. Um, not gonna really explain too much, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so A will be like your. Hmm, I don't think about it. A will be like your first point. Actually, no, I'll I'll explain this first. So the measure it takes T is in time, so it's between zero and one. Um, point zero is which is your first point. Point one is your middle point, which is that. And then point two is your end point, which is this. And pretty much when it calls the lerp, so it, it gets like two lines, right? And it uses the lerp to achieve that. Um so line one it lerps the first point to the second point, right? So that first lerp is getting this. To this right and then the second one is getting this to this so pretty much is just gonna give you that like from a to b to c right and then it puts both of these two lines or i'll say lerps both of these like lerps inside of the quad which will make the quadratic like the lerp which would give you that like curve so think about it as like the two lerps are sort of like lines at the beginning and then it lerps uh both of the lines so now it turns into a curve right and i think this is this pretty much explains it right which the first lerp is the lines second lerp is the second line and then it lerps both the lines right and yeah, pretty much just think of it like that. Don't really worry about this. A is whatever the first sort of parameter we put in it. B is the second. And C is just time. And then it returns a point along the uh, quadratic like measure curve. So let's say we have like multiple points. 
and pretty much depending on what time like t is like how it's shown here is gonna determine where our like position is right and we're gonna reference the three points that we made so point a is equal to workspace by point a and just copy this just to make it a little faster So we got that three points referenced. Um, now, in order to use this, we need to use like a a loop, I guess. So let's just do i equals zero, one, point one, two. So pretty much, this is just a for loop that's gonna have like ten points. Um, so what we got to do is we're going to make like glowing points so you can sort of see the curve take form um yeah so we're just going to do local part this is our new parts okay we're going to make sure we anchor the part as well We're just gonna give it like a yellow. And give it a size of like 0.5.5.5. Make it a workspace. Um yeah, that's all we need. And I'm gonna make sure I anchor these parts as well. Now we need to get the, or we need to make a C frame for the part. So above parent, we're just gonna do part that C frame is equal to, let's say. Now I try to remember this, so I'm pretty sure. C frame dot new measure curve, then we got point A dot position. Oh wait, no, it's T first. My fault. Um, so we put I in there as the stand in for T, then we do point A dot position, point B dot position, and then point C dot position. And I don't really need to put a weight in front of this loop, well in this loop, so let's just double check real quick. All right, so if I click run, you'll see how it makes the curve, right? And if I have this like looping constantly, you'll see like that it's updating. You know, we'll, we'll probably do that actually. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Every second, we're just gonna make a new I'll bet you right based on the points. Um, we're just gonna put a folder in there as well. So, folder, new folder. Take your workspace. Then we just parent them to the folder. After one second. destroy the folder and then it's just going to loop again let me just make sure this works in one second I'll move that there is one second and I'll probably speed this up actually so you see a lot of it's making a measure curve based on these three points. So pretty much we got, you know, what we want it, right? Let me just bring this up as well. You go below and it could do like an under. Sorry for the work, but um, and yeah, this is pretty much like the two function measure curve. But 
it's pretty easy to understand honestly um and yeah we can we can do the other uh function now which is just this one line and i'm gonna just call it measure pretty much this one line just shrinks both of these down to one line right and rather than doing all of this we can just push a function to that and run it and it gives us the same exact results that's why i like the one line because all i need to know is p is time p zero starting point the middle point and the end point that that's all you need to know All right, so now for, let's say moving a part across the bezier, right? You wanna like smooth as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna use tween as well. Let's say we wanna move, we wanna spawn a part. So I'm just gonna comment out this stuff right here. Second, I'm gonna make the folder as well. I'm gonna do a part. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna remove the C frame part real quick. Um, I think the shape is a sphere, right? Let me just double check real quick. Um, oh, it's a ball. Okay. I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. All right, now let's see. The starting point for this part would be point A dot position, right? So we want to spawn that, like this ball, at the starting point. And uh, I'll just like run a quick test real quick. Sorry, it's cannot be a sound. Nope. Oh, part is equal to position. I'm dumb. Position. I'm gonna make this slightly bigger too. The part of uh, shape. Let's get a ball. All right, there we go. We got the ball right there. And I'll make a neon. I'm just gonna use the string because we're just trying to get this done. All right. All right. So we got a ball, and we wanna tween it across the bezier, right? So what I like to do is I don't, I don't lerp like the bezier. I'll, what I'll do is make a number value. And you, you'll probably find another, like a better way to do this. Pretty much, let's say like I have like 20 parts and I want them to sort of tween to their like position or whatever. They'll all use that one like number value. But yeah, we're just gonna number value dot value is equal to zero. The number value dot parent is equal to folder. So we're gonna parent it to the folder. We're gonna make a connection, right? Connection. To get a number value. Change. Call a connect function. And then, pretty much, what we gotta do is part up position. Yeah. Not position. C frame is equal to measure. We're gonna just use the one line measure because it's just simple. I mean, you can use both, but I just like to use one line because it's just one line, right? Um, make sure I do this correct. C frame dot new measure, and then the time will be number value dot value. 
and then say we a dot position point b dot position and point c dot position now after that we're just gonna connection connection disconnect let me just make sure I got this correctly. All right, yeah. So now we need to just do tween. So local tween service. Do the game to service tween service. And we're just gonna tween the number value. So create number value. Tween info dot new one second. I'm gonna do linear so enum dot this is all about linear enum dot using direction dot out and then value or and put the brackets first all is equal to one play then we're gonna do below this load it that destroy pretty much this is what it look like if you need me to scroll in if you need these as well all right so now when we test this this should translate across see how the ball is going on across yeah it's pretty much what a measure does gives you this fun sort of animation thing yeah this is pretty much a basic tutorial on how to use measures um if you like this video hit the like sub share let me know what you want to see next um the next video after this will be like a rock module People have been asking me a lot for that, so I'll make that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.